Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand various types of selectors provided by CSS. CSS provides various types of selectors so that we can be able to get more control over selection of HTML elements and apply styles on them efficiently. In the previous video tutorials, we understood that CSS tag selector selects every HTML element with a specified tag name and applies styles on them. If we want to select HTML elements by their tag name, then we use CSS tag selector. CSS class selector selects every HTML element with a specified class attribute value and applies styles on them. If we want to select HTML elements by their class attribute value, then we use CSS class selector. More than one HTML elements can have same class attribute value as well as a single HTML element can have more than one class attribute values. To group HTML elements under a single class and apply styles on them, we use CSS class selector. What if we want to identify an HTML element uniquely and apply styles on it? Then we use CSS ID selector. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss CSS ID selector. In the previous video tutorial, we have understood to select tags by their class attribute value and apply styles on them, we use class selector. To select tags by their ID attribute value and apply styles on them, we use ID selector. We know the syntax of CSS rule set. We write a selector in flower brackets, we put declaration list. To implement ID selector, in place of selector, we write ID attribute value preceded by hash symbol. In CSS, hash symbol indicates ID selector. There is an attribute called as ID, which is global attribute. That ID attribute you can put in almost every HTML element. ID attribute we use to identify an HTML element uniquely. So to the ID attribute, we can give any ID attribute value. To apply style on that HTML element, in CSS what we do means, we write a hash symbol followed by ID attribute value. In flower brackets, we put declaration list. It selects every HTML tag which has specified ID attribute value and applies styles on them. For example, h1 tag ID attribute value we have given is solid border. To apply style to that heading element, what we do? We write hash symbol, then we write that ID attribute value. In flower brackets, we write the declaration list. ID selector selects every HTML tag available on the page with the specified ID attribute value and applies specified styles on them. Now we are going to see the demonstration. Let's see the demonstration. I minimize it. I go to start, type notepad. I click on notepad and then I start writing the code. So less than exclamation mark doc type HTML close HTML lang equal to en close HTML tag, then I write here opening head tag, closing head tag, opening body tag, closing body tag. Then I say here meta char set equal to UTF-8 close. This is a basic structure of HTML5 document. File, save as, I save the file at desktop with the name default.html. Both sides I put double quotation and save it. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page, open with the Firefox. You can see default.html page got open. I reduce the size of this page. Now here I am going to create some paragraphs. For example, a paragraph, some text goes here, some text closing p tag. I copy this, paste it few times. Then I am going to create one heading for this paragraph h1 heading heading text closing h1 tag. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see paragraphs got displayed, heading text got displayed. Now I am going to use ID attribute for the heading to identify the heading uniquely. Here I say for example heading heading 1. For all of these paragraphs maybe this heading is the main heading and here I have given an ID equal to heading 1. To apply style on it we can access this HTML element by its ID attribute value in CSS. So here I am going to write style type equal to text or CSS close closing style tag. Here we write hash symbol, then we write heading heading 1 that is the id attribute value for heading and there I say border of 2 pixel solid red semicolon. File, save, go to browser and refresh. 
you can see the heading text has the border. So we have told to the system locate an HTML element which has the ID heading 1 and apply this style on it. So that's what the browser has done for us. For example, I copy this and paste it down. This is going to be maybe this one is heading 1 text, maybe heading 2 text. So I am going to identify this by writing heading 2. File, save, go to browser and refresh. We have one more heading here and we are identifying it uniquely by saying the name heading 2. So to apply style on it, so I write hash h e a d i n g heading 2 opening bracket closing bracket I say here border colon 2 pixel solid green color semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see this has a green color you can give an id attribute also same for example this one is heading 1 for this also I say heading 1 but they are not heading once just for our example purpose file save go to browser and refresh you can see both are having the red color that means using the id attribute also you can group html elements right but remember that this point you should not specify same id attribute value to more than one tag nobody is going to stop you from having same id attribute value to more than one html element but this point you should remember you should not specify same id attribute value to more than one tag id attribute value should be unique in the page that means there should not be duplicate id attribute values id attribute value should be unique in the page if you want to identify an html element uniquely in the page use id selector okay if you want to group more than one html elements under a single class then use class selector okay if you want to identify an html element uniquely in the page use id selector an html element should not have list of id attribute values separated by white space you remember an html element can have list of class attribute values separated by white spaces with respect to class selector we have seen that in the previous video tutorial but remember that an html element should not have list of id attribute values separated by white spaces id attribute value is not only used to identify an html element uniquely and apply styles on it it is also used to access html element in javascript and allows us to add behavior to it understanding so id attribute not only used in css it is also used in javascript to access that html element and add some behavior on it when to use id selector or id attribute header footer navbar sidebar such elements normally appear only once in a page such elements can be uniquely identified by id attribute and applied styles by using css id selector also form elements like input fields password field radio button checkbox etc are uniquely identified by id attribute and applied styles by using css id selector also accessed in javascript uniquely for validation purpose or adding any other behavior to them hope you guys have understood when to use id selector what is id selector and what are the points you need to remember with respect to id selector so to select tags by their id attribute value and apply styles on them we use id selector to implement id selector in place of selector we write id attribute value preceded by the hash symbol in css hash symbol indicates id selector it selects every html tag which has specified id attribute value you should not specify same id attribute value to more than one tag if you want to identify an html element uniquely on the page use id selector an html element should not have list of id attribute values separated by white spaces id attribute value should be unique in the page for this tutorial this much is enough friends in the next tutorial we get more information for more benefits and be updated please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial